Uh, hi, in this video, we will talk about playwright. So what is playwright? Right. So in our previous videos, we will not discuss about Selenium, right? The same way playwright is also a, an automation API. So which is developed by Microsoft and maintained by Microsoft and it is open source. The same way how Selenium is open source, playwright is also an open source, but uh, developed and maintained by Microsoft team. So what is playwright? Right, we'll, we'll see, we'll go to the official website and we'll see what is Playwright and what options, what features they have. So let's go to the official website. The official website is playwright.dev, right, playwright.dev. So once you go here, so this is the Playwright enables reliable end-to-end -end testing for modern web apps. So they're saying Playwright enables reliable end-to-end -end testing for modern web apps. So, and it supports, you see that, Chrome, Edge, Firefox, Opera, Safari. So it supports all the famous browsers, frequently used browsers. And apart from that, what they are saying, you'll see. So any browser, any platform, one API. So with the help of one API, we can execute our scripts in any browser, any operating system. So this is cross browser, cross platform, cross language also. So it supports TypeScript, JavaScript, Python, .NET, Java. So when you over here, you see the supported language is Node.js. Node.js means it might be TypeScript or JavaScript and Python, Java, .NET. As part of this series, we will see Java. After that, we'll try to jump into uh, other languages also in the future. But as part of this series, we will mainly look into Java API, okay? So resilient, no flaky tests. So it is saying that no flaky tests. So the reason behind this is, you have auto wait option in the playwright. This is one of the beautiful options which is offered by playwright. Playwright waits for element to be actionable prior to performing actions, right? So if you want to perform the same thing in Selenium, you need to write your own logic. Wait until this element is visible. Wait until this element is clickable, something like that. That we don't need in this playwright. Playwright waits for element to be actionable prior to the performing actions. It also has a rich set of introspection events. The combination of the two eliminates the need for artificial timeouts. The primary cause of flaky tests. So because of the timeouts only, right, we will get flaky tests. So that is overcome by autobates. We overcome this way using autobate option in the playwrights. Web first assertions. Playwright assertions are created specially for the dynamic web. Checks are automatically retried until the necessary conditions are met. So whether it is clickable, whether it is interactable, that it will verify, then it will try to interact. So tracing, config, configure test retry strategy, capture execution trace, video screenshots to eliminate flakes. So if something is happening, then you, need, you can easily trace. The reason is you can capture the videos, you can capture the screenshots very easily. So everything we will see step by step in our upcoming videos, but this is just an introduction. No trade-offs, no limits. Multiple everything, test scenarios that span multiple tabs, multiple origins, and multiple users. Create scenarios with different contexts for different users and run them against your server, all, it, all in one test. So this is also one of the beautiful options available with Playwright. So you can open multiple browsers, multiple tabs, multiple pages, and you can interact with, with between these two browsers or tabs. So that we will take one of the beautiful exams called chart application automation. So there should be two people, right? So one people typing, then other people should respond. If that person is typing, other person should respond. That also is possible with play, right? So that we will see in our upcoming videos how we can achieve that with one beautiful example. I'll take one chart, uh, chart application. I'll try to replicate this scenario. Okay, trusted events, test frames, p uh, peers, shadow DOMs, play rate selectors, please shadow DOM and allow entering frames seamlessly. Means we don't need to switch to frame all these things. It will identify the elements that also we will see. Full isolation, fast execution, browser context. Every time it will open a fresh browser context. So browser context is equal into the brand new browser profile. This delivers full test isolation with zero overhead. So we will see what is browser context, how we can open that browser context or use browser context 
in our upcoming videos. So log in once, save the authentication state. This is also one of the beautiful options. So you have multiple test cases. For each and every test case, you need to log into the application multiple times, means each and every time. So you can eliminate that in play, right? First time when you execute, you can save the state. And the next time, you don't need to open the login page, enter username, enter password, click on login button. We can avoid this, uh, what you say, like this overhead. The moment when you open the browser, it will directly uh, log into the machine without giving username and password. So that is also with one example we will see. So powerful tooling. Code gen generates tests by recording your action. We have recording options also. We have playwright inspector. You can inspect the elements. So you have trace fever, something like that. Okay. So these many options are available in playwright. So you have n number of options. Okay, you have n number of options. You have beautiful documentation also. If you click on docs, you see that and you can select which document and which language document you want. So click on Java. So you see that installation, test generator, auto waiting, assertions, authentication, browsers, dialogues, downloads, some frames, hand, handles, locators. So you have n number of options. So we will see one by one in our upcoming videos. And you have beautiful search option also here. You just click. You see when I say screenshots. So the moment when I click on here, the typing, while typing on it will show screenshots. You just click on screenshots. It will give small snippets also to how to use the screenshots. Okay. So this is how like uh, playwright will work. A number of options are available. So in our from our next videos, we will see one by one. In our next video, we will see how we can set up Playwright in your Eclipse or IntelliJ. Mostly I'll try to use IntelliJ. So in your IntelliJ, how to set up Playwright project. And then we'll try to see the remaining options available in the Playwright. Okay. So I can say this is one of the best uh, tools nowadays. People are looking into Playwright also. So better to learn or at least you should have knowledge like what is play rate, how it will work, all these things. So we will discuss one by one in our next videos. Okay, so that's all in this video. Please like the video, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.